1955, GAC has been going strong for about seven decades now and it entered the Philippines well, not too long ago. Compared to other brands, you're still not that close to 100 years yet. But man, considering how young they are and the things Earl has seen in its and his home country, that is utterly, well, shocking. I have a Philippine passport. Yeah, where? From Recto? Anyway, GAC Philippines under the Astara Group promised us that we'd get to test future models from the brand in its hometown of Guangzhou, China. But apart from just going there to drive, we ended up seeing all that GAC had to offer. To premise everything, we have one word to say. Shocking. Going over the other things that we were able to see in GAC's HQ, design, studio, and production facilities, it's safe to say that the brand's manufacturing standards are world-class. GAC is so confident about this manufacturing shops that they even have a hypercar that's fully electric, has butterfly doors, over 1,200 horsepower, 12,000 newton meters of torque, and a zero to 100 time of 1.9 seconds. And that was just one of the pet projects that GAC had to showcase in its technology center. On top of a flying car, on top of a lounge on wheels, on top of other electric concepts, and on top of other stuff, what we were most excited to see was the AI driving called Adaigo, which allows for a self-parking and even self-driving car. The system was so advanced, in fact, that the test driver was outside of the car when he was activating the feature. Can you imagine that? The car is its own valet. Imagine I don't have to shout at Jack anymore to bring the car up. Ah, the future looks bright. But I'm gonna miss Jack. The other innovation that we were definitely excited about was GAC's push into solid state batteries. Now, if you don't know, solid state will be the future for getting as much energy density out from as little space as possible. And the fact that the brand is also pushing for a charging standard of 400 kilowatts. For reference, 400 kilowatts is more than double the charging speed of the fastest charger we've tested in the Philippines at Shell, which is 180 kilowatts. GAC says that its charging standard can recharge an EV as long as it supports it in about five minutes from 20% to 80%. Less time than it takes for Jack to brew a cup of coffee. No, really, this guy takes forever in a day. Don't look at me like that. If you'd like to see us actually testing the fastest charger that we can find here in the Philippines with an e-tron, no less, the links are somewhere down below. Anyway, factory tour. A showcase of more tech, even GAC's electric brand Ion with an A, all well and good. Now, off to the drives. See, GAC said we were testing future models. It wasn't a question of if they were launching it in the country, but rather when they were launching it in the country. We got to drive the GAC MPOW R, the Ion Hyper GT, the GAC GS3 M Zoom, and the MQ. Links down below for both of our reviews and finally the M8. MPOW R, amazing. Hyper GT with its butterfly doors, electrifying. But perhaps most exciting is the M8. Basically, an Alford with more features and flair. The minivan evokes all sorts of luxury, and the biggest draw is it also comes in a hybrid trim, which means no coding all day, every day. And the reason why it's so exciting is not because of its interior, its captain's chairs, or multiple screens, but it was in fact that the GAC have officially announced that this model will be coming in the first quarter of 2024. Booyah! Ever since GAC went to Astara in the Philippines, it's been all up and up for the Chinese brand. To end this little snippet of us fanboying and girling about GAC, we will say this, that based on what we've seen, based on the cars that we've driven, we are excited to review any and all that GAC has to offer. So do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.